Many years ago, a young man from Makerere was given a role in a play, Lady Will You Marry Me? He was acting as Mr. Cat and uh, was going to marry a mouse, a cat and mouse intermarriage. And that was none other than Robert Chagulanyi Sentamu, then Bobby Wine. He was going to act with Barbara Itungo, Bobby. Ten years later, the two got married. But guess what? In the play, Lady Will You Marry Me, Robert Chagulanyi was crowned the president of a new union between the mouse Fam, the, the mice family and the cat family. Barbara Itungo became the first lady of the union. Ten years later, they married. Ten years later is 2021. Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. This is the Diaspora um, Report, a weekly one. With me is Mr. Haman Ainebiona the coordinator, the team leader of the diaspora. Say hi to the people, Haman. Hello, I'm very honored and uh, glad to be here. Ni mbaramu sa homo ena, haba nyankode, haba ganda mbaramu sezako. As you know, we have initiated a process where we give an update. And yeah. I think that um, that is the reason. But. Uh, congratulations, first of and all. And we are getting it. very good results, by the way. Oh, really? Yeah. That's <laughs> good. Um, I think I think everything um, is is an effort, and I, I, I don't want to talk about uh, that. I, I want to give the people the sure. weekly review so that we don't um, take up too much time. Mm -hmm. I first of all want to congratulate um, the president himself and his lovely wife um, upon that 20, 20 years is not easy. Yeah. And sometimes you want... It's 19. It's, it's making... Is they are making... No, no. Yeah, they are making 20 years in 2021. Ah. Coincidence, eh? You understand. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. I want to say. Uh, I'll, I'll dive into the report. Yeah. Um, this is an update that is focused strictly on the diaspora. So I'll go straight away by thanking my comrades in Canada. They put up a strong barbecue. You saw it yourself. Okay, yeah. Um, thank you, Canada team. The funds raised um, as I speak are in transit to Uganda, and that is the initiative. That is that was the target, and I think they did fairly well. It doesn't mean that that is enough. We need to do more. We need to look for more ways um, exactly. of of supporting the struggle. Both uh, DC team also had a barbecue the other weekend, and they did really really well. They didn't have the NUP cards yet, but now once you reach out to Karim Mtambi in Washington DC they will avail those barbecues. Now the upcoming activities, my mm -hmm. brother. Um, I'll start with North America, maybe, depending on what you prefer, mm, but that's I'll, fine. maybe mm. I'll flow through North America quickly. Mm. Tomorrow is Sunday, the 30th of August. We have two uh, online fundraisings, one on the East Coast and the other on the West Coast. Okay. On the East Coast, it's, in, it's run by the Boston team, but all all members from all over the world are welcome. It's via Zoom, and the Zoom can accommodate as many people as join as those who join. You'll see this flyer everywhere on Facebook. Um, the other on the West Coast is run by uh, is also online via Zoom, and you can join in and contribute and give ideas. And you know the fundraising is not only for financial, but it's also ideological and uh, and in kind as well, actually. Okay. Um, Boston, um, again, has a barbecue coming up next weekend. Oh, before I go to next weekend, tomorrow again, the UK team um, has, a, has a barbecue, a fundraising barbecue, and that will be where that end. That's UK Sunday. That's tomorrow, Sunday. Sunday. 30th. Yes, the 30th. Mm -hmm. It will be at 6, um, oh, sorry, at 2 p.m. UK time, and it will be at Clapham Common Park in London. Okay. I beg all people who have friends, brothers, sisters, cousins in the UK, I already told mine, to be there and uh, and support that cause. And also register. I talked about last time the importance of having an NUP cards. Maybe if I can quickly mm -hmm. highlight that there are two. 
one it gives you a right to association and the confidence a feeling of belonging <laughs> correct and two uh, especially for us in the diaspora it's a fundraising initiative so do not be shy anyone who has an NUP card mm -hmm. is uh, the names that I keep reading, the coordinators that I keep reading are the right people to reach out to for NUP cards for the fundraising if you want. Um, moving on, um, in South Africa, they are, they are in transit. The NUP cards for South Africa are in transit. Comrade Jaja Ibo already received the first batch met and uh, the next batch is already distributing he hasn't started yet okay. but he's starting when he receives because south africa like i said last time is a very big heavily heavily populated it's the biggest it's one of the biggest uh it competes with dubai uh, i mean uae um in the numbers of uganda and so he received 500 cards initially now he's receiving a batchment of 4,000. so okay. um that is going to start early next um, early next month, we'll be giving a review on that next weekend. All right. Um, yeah, UAE, the cards restarted last week. Um, reach out to Patricia Mugisha in UAE. He has those cards. Uh, Australia, the cards arrived today. So reach out to Cassidy in Australia for, for those cards, Comrade Cassidy. Um, Japan, reach out to Ronald Mutiaba and Anthony. The cards are in transit. Norway, reach out to Vincent um, in Norway, Oslo, Norway. Reach out to Vincent. He has those cards. Do you have his other name? And Lydia. Uh, Vincent sent Amu. Okay. Coincidentally. Better. Better. <laughs> <laughs> um, Sweden, uh, Comrade Victor is away in Uganda. So Comrade Kingsley is going to be covering up for him. So reach out to Comrade Kingsley in Sweden. Uh, Ghana, Comrade Namata Serumaga, big up to you. We have two babies in the diaspora mm -hmm. every week. You know we are restless, eh? Three mm -hmm. months to go, to go. So we have a mm -hmm. team in Oman now, mm -hmm. and um, more details will be coming on that team and the specifics. Uh, but thank you guys for reaching out. We have a team in Virginia now. Um, okay. That is the DMV area in America, around the East Coast, DC, Maryland, Virginia. Now we have a small Virginia crew which is for mostly grown-ups but it's a very interesting very it's a hyperactive Mo team. mostly for the seniors mostly for the <laughs> seniors but the team is the things that they are talk they talk about and the love they have for this guy and the love they have for the country is very humbling wow. and they give you an ear like your management so i dig up to you uh team in virginia it's being led by a gentleman called paul and a lady called evelyn uh, we appreciate the work you're doing. Um, can I move on? I, Moda Kumoda. Tell us about Moda Kumoda. I, can, I, I will jump to Moda okay. Kumoda. Let me finish my chapters. Okay. You see that diaspora okay. is huge. We have you still have more? We have Chicago. Okay. Chicago, the cards were being issued at a home event today. Uh, David Ndambi's home. And also uh, Comrade Sophie is one of the people we get in touch with uh, in the Chicago area. Minnesota, <coughs> Charles and Winnie, uh, they are doing a great job. They received a batchment of cards if you want to place your orders. So we have a big diaspora community and we are just starting. New babies every time. Um, Florida, Comrade Zakayo, Texas, Comrade Abili, they are all there. Uh, in the US, if you want cards, if you have issues, I want to Boston, read Boston, you didn't talk about... Uh, Boston. <laughs> <laughs> Boston, reach out to Comrade Dorothy, mm. and this comrade right here is on the Boston team. Yeah. Um, you know, reach out to Comrade Dorothy, and the phone number to reach out to is 857-719. That's for the diaspora. Right? For the entire diaspora. For the entire diaspora. If you're stuck on where to get those cards, mm. the entire diaspora, the contact. The is. berets, the t-shirts. The t-shirts, even information. If you even hear, these vests. These vests. Those vests, mm. yeah. Um, if, you yeah. Hear, if you hear of any issues in, in your chapter, if your chapter has issues, um, reach out to us. Uh, let me read out the number, comrade. Sure. It's 857 seven one nine four four five one again the number is eight five seven seven one nine four four five one
quickly, um, people might want to know the direction that the movement is taking. Mm -hmm. And um, in just one minute. Yeah, in please. maybe two. Uh, <laughs> because I have two okay. points. Okay. <laughs> the first one is um, the Modaku Moda campaign. Mm -hmm. This is fundraising. Uh, the movement, we need about 1.1 trillion shillings. So don't be shy to send that money to uh, the mobile man money number for Daniel Oyerot. And uh, the phone number is plus 256-703-636363. Again, the number is 703-636363. Plus 256, okay. the country code. Uh, if you're unable to get through because we are getting complaints of people piling up yeah. that number with donations, so that's a good thing. Should we be celebrating? Yeah, of course. Of <laughs> course. And, and I understand they are trying to find means of uh, making it open so so, so, so that can we in, can yeah. get more. Yeah, we are trying to work out the logistics around that. But if you're unable to go through, don't be shy to go to the People Power website, peoplepower.org.ug. Um, and again, even though you're stuck using that that system, come again to the other number, plus one, eight five seven seven one nine four four five one. Lobby your complaint, lobby your issue, and we will do our best to address it. That is the Modaku Moda campaign. Okay. Finally, mm. the the movement has been concentrated in Kamwacha. Mm. Everything happens in Kamwacha. Mm. So I've seen a lot of complaints about that. Yeah, people are mm. a bit uncomfortable about that. And uh, of course it causes havoc. You can't operate when you all converge in one mm. in one uni unit. As you know, this guy has been the guy that we are fighting against has been in power for thirty five years. He's spread out through the country. So we need to spread out as well mm. and then finally converge in a few months. Mm. So we are decentralizing in a way um you know their offices first of all there were deputies appointed uh for each region northern region dr lina zadriga western uh, madame jolly and uh eastern nambeshe and then central also mm. okay so those four regions of the country now have official offices okay yeah of got reach out to those official offices again if you want more information kindly reach out to that number especially in the diaspora but we encourage you for those in the diaspora to focus on your chapters. Mobilize for your chapters. So Boston, if you're in Boston, mobilize. In other words, we are trying to decentralize that too. Yeah, right. <laughs> Don't exactly. We are not only decentralizing in Uganda, yeah. we are also decentralizing in the diaspora. Focus on your chapter. <coughs> Grow your chapter. Find a team. Go on Facebook. Find me. My name is Haman Aineviona, H-E-R-M-A-N, A-I-N-E-B-Y-O-N-A. Phone number again, last time. Mm. How Please. many times have I read That's the number? Good. <laughs> so it's good enough. It's okay, mm. not enough. Good enough. <laughs> the phone number is uh, plus one, 857-719-4451. Next week, September 2nd, second round of youth elections, parish level. We are approaching that and we are struggling through that. So come give us advice and come join us actually. Don't only advise, come join us and we work together towards the liberation of the country. Thank you, thank you very much. Thank you very much, Haman. This is a struggle for Haman, for Kaparaga, for Robert Chagulanyi, and for you. So please get involved in this struggle. Michael Kakande, Kapalaga Biebe is my name. Thank you very much. See you again.